All right, so it's uh, March 23rd, 2023, here in Yosemite National Park. Oh, nice, foggy, cloudy day. We got some sun poking through. Uh, I just wanted to make a little video here showing uh, some up-close footage of Yosemite's newest geographic formation, which is uh, an avalanche zone that has been formed in the last, I don't know, two to three weeks. So you can see this gully right here in front of me coming down. Right now there's a pretty steady stream of water from the snow melt and precipitation we've been having. But uh, over the last month or so, that zone or that gully has had a ton of avalanches coming down, tons of snow building up one after the other. And uh, during the last two weeks after we had all the major snow, um, we had a significant amount of rain too, which I believe caused a uh, massive buildup of snow at the base to slide uh, down the hillside and create this uh, super cool avalanche zone. So we're gonna go check that out. So we're heading up towards the uh, Valley Loop Trail now. Um, as you can see, this storm has done a number on everything in terms of the amount of broken branches, debris flow in general, nature destruction. Got down branches here, down branches there. I mean, it's just a mess and this is all over the park. So anything that was gonna go pretty much went under the uh, historic amount of snowfall we've had in the last month or so. Another thing I wanted to point out is this forest you can see it's really old you know it's almost entirely oaks back here got a couple uh, bay leaf trees too some coniferous trees mixed in but it's a lot of really old oak um, a lot of really old oak oak trees can live for a really long time like hundreds of years I think and what I think is so cool about what I'm going to show y'all is how quickly an area like this just gets completely wiped out by a singular maybe minutes long event. So here we are coming up on it. You know, here's the trail and then all of a sudden just massive amounts of debris. And this is right where the slide stopped. You can see, see my, one of my neighbor's houses right there. Right, right down there through the trees. So any further and this could have done some serious, serious damage to people's homes and infrastructure. Luckily it stopped right here. Um, I don't know why, if it was just the energy from all the trees it was taking out or maybe because the, the gradient went from being steep to mellow. But this is where it stopped. This is kind of the end of it. So let's take a closer look. So here we are coming up the base of the slide. You can just see all this, all this wood and debris just got decimated by the avalanche. Look at this. Just a hundred year old oak trees completely turned into splinters and toothpicks. Gnarly stuff. Well, here it is. You can see right from the, the base of the gully there, just carved out like a whole football field. Absolutely decimated.
So I don't know when or if there's a record of what date exactly this occurred. I'd have to guess probably about two weeks ago when all the heavy rain really started and we had some minor flooding and sandbagging to do in the valley. But I remember that night I could hear this this gully flowing through my window and it was the strongest I've ever heard it. It sounded like a waterfall. And I do remember hearing some bigger slides in the night that night, but I can't say for sure if it was this one or not. And pretty sure this was a singular event, not a series of smaller events. Um, and I'll explain that a little more when we get up to the top, but I can't imagine a bunch of small avalanches causing this much damage. I think it was a, uh, a build up and release of a lot of energy all at once. It's cool to look close at some of these trees and branches and you can see where debris came along and hit it. Just absolutely shredded it. We're getting close to the top now. And you can still see this giant mound of compacted snow that still remains from just avalanche after avalanche that came down this gully in the last month. And the water has found its way and carved the stream. kind of cool. You can see it running through a gap underneath this mound of snow. All right, so here we are at the base. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. I can't really tell, but here's the base of the uh, Big old pile of snow. I got my helmet on because I don't know what else is gonna fall off the top there at any moment. We're not gonna spend too much time here, but let's check it out. If I go down there, maybe you can get some perspective. Take a closer look here. So here's the tunnel that runs all the way through. We crawled through it yesterday, I don't need to do it again. So like I was saying before, 
what I think happened is all the snow came down the gully over and over and over again all piled up here and then compacted settled down and once it started raining once we got all the heavy rain and the warmer temperatures it all released at once creating what you see here pretty cool pretty cool to think that this forest you know that's been growing here doing its thing for who knows how long hundreds of years since the last time this happened all of a sudden an instant can just be taken out like that a little humbling you know well, that's about it i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little tour of yosemite's uh newest and greatest geographic formation uh, remember if you want to come check it out it's just about a quarter mile east of the lower falls uh, bridge there on the valley loop trail and uh, let me know come check it out together thanks for watching